Hello guys, welcome to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to bulk create with Canva and ChatGPT for TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and Instagram Reels. You may have seen some videos like these on different social media platforms and they are getting a lot of views and engagements. Now, if you are thinking of doing the same thing but you don't have much time to spare, you have come to the right place. Because in this video, I will show you how to create just that in under 15 minutes. So without further ado, let's get started. So to start, the videos that we're gonna make in today's tutorial are trivias about different countries. So first, go to ChatGPT and send a prompt like this. Create a list of 20 trivias about countries and put them on a table with two columns. In the first column, Put the trivia numbers, for example, trivia 1, trivia 2, and in the second column, put the actual trivias. It is important for your prompt to be as detailed as this one so you won't find it hard to edit it later in Canva. As you can see, it generated a table with 20 trivias about different countries. So the next thing that we're going to need to do is to highlight all these, right-click, and click on Copy. Then open a Google spreadsheet and paste it here. I just need to adjust this a little. Then name this file so you can easily find it later once you need it for your Canva design. After naming it, click on File. Then download it as a CSV file. After that, go back to Canva. Then on the search bar, you can type in TikTok, YouTube Shorts, or Instagram Reels. They all just have the same format. Then choose a video template that you think will fit to the kind of video that you're gonna make and is easy to edit. So I'm gonna make trivia video so let me just search for tiktok trivia then i'm just going to select one here once you have chosen a template click on it then click on customize this template then i think we're just going to need the first page here so let me just delete the other pages Then you can start editing the font size and styles here, but you can adjust them anytime later. Then since our first trivia is about Canada, let me just find a photo that is related to Canada here. Let us just first delete the background photo. Then let's click on Elements. Then I'm just going to type Canada here. You can select a video or a photo. I think a photo would be better for this one, so let's click on Photos. And I'm just going to use this image right here. So let's drag the photo and resize it on the canvas. Once done, we may now continue adjusting the texts here. Of course, we want to make it as readable as possible. So the best thing to do to make sure that it's readable on whatever backgrounds you put is to put outlines to the texts. So click on Effects. Then select Outline here. You can also adjust the thickness of the outline. Then I'm just going to change the font style here, and I'm going to choose something that looks more readable. Okay, let's just leave it that way first and adjust them again later if it's necessary. Let's now move on to the next step. So on the left side, click on Apps. Then search for Bulk Create. Once you see that option, just click on it. 
Then click on Upload Data. Then we're going to select the CSV file we saved earlier. Then click on Open. As you can see, it has now identified two fields from our table. What we just need to do now is to connect the data to the elements on our page. So let's select this text. Then right-click the text. Then click on Connect Data. Then let's connect it to Trivia 1. Now for the other text, let's select it as well. Right-click it. Then click on Connect Data again. Then click on the Trivia information. I'm just going to make more adjustments to this text real quick. Also, I just noticed here that the line spacing here is too small. So to adjust the spacing, select the text. Then click on this icon. And here, as you can see, we can set the spacing here according to our liking. Then just continue adjusting and editing the text, its font styles and sizes. After editing the text, click on Continue so we can enter all the other data that we have in our table. You can generate them all or you can just select the ones that you would like to include in your video. I'm just going to generate them all, so let's click on Generate 19 Designs. And now, as you can see, we have successfully put all the remaining data to our design. We just need to adjust some other things here, just like the duration of each slide. So to adjust the duration, you can do it here like this. Then you can also change or add transitions. Just click on this button. Then just play around with the animations and set them according to your taste. Then for the second slide, I'm just going to edit the background photo since this trivia is about Sahara Desert already. So again, click on Elements. Then let's just type Sahara Desert here. Then I'm just going to select a photo here. Drag it to the page, resize it like this. Then I'm going to adjust the duration to 5 seconds as well. Then I'm just going to do the same thing to all the remaining pages here. Now that we're done editing the video, you may now post it on Instagram Reels, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts. I hope this video helps. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.